bug bites. Have you heard the one about the customer who finds a fly in his soup? Outraged, he points it out to the waiter, who says, Keep your voice down, or everybody will want one. Okay, so it's an old joke. But the funny part is what the waiter says. Who on earth would want to eat a bug? Well, would it surprise you if we said lots of people would? It's true. In Australia, South America, Africa, and Asia, eating bugs is no joke. Bugs aren't just pests. They're lunch or dinner or a nice after-school snack. To those of us who have never crunched a cricket or slurped a worm, the idea of eating bugs sounds pretty gross. We wouldn't eat those creepy crawlies even if someone dared us. Yet lots of bugs are nutritious, tasty, and perfectly safe to eat. Pests Pests are insects or small animals that harm crops or annoy people. Eat up. We're outnumbered. Eating bugs is an old habit. 10,000 years ago, before they learned to farm, our ancestors found food by hunting and gathering. Bugs were considered part of the daily diet. It made sense for ancient people to eat a source of nutrition that was right under their noses or buzzing by their ears. As you've probably noticed, bugs are everywhere. One out of every three animals is a bug, and scientists estimate that there are 200 million of the little critters for every person on the planet. No wonder more than half the people on Earth still eat bugs daily. Of the million or so types of bugs that scientists have named so far, more than 1,500 are somebody's favorite snack. The most popular bugs to eat are crickets and termites, which are said to taste a bit like pineapple, but lots of other bugs are edible too. Restaurants in Mexico sell ant tacos. Cans of baby bees line supermarket shelves in Japan. In Thailand, Outdoor markets offer silkworm larvae. And in Mozambique, in eastern Africa, people call grasshoppers flying shrimp. Edible. If something is edible, it is safe for people to eat. In the United States, a candy company sells bug-filled lollipops. This clay pan is filled with dry grasshopper snacks. You can find these snacks all over Mexico. Which is more nutritious, ground beef or grasshoppers? At this market in Thailand, people can buy a variety of fried insects. Bugs do a body good. Dinner is served. On one plate, a big juicy hamburger, and on the other, a heaping pile of cooked grasshoppers. Ground beef or bugs? Which one do you think is better for your body? Both have lots of protein, which is what your body uses to build muscle. But in other ways, grasshoppers clearly come out ahead. A pound of grasshoppers has less fat than a pound of beef, and the insects are higher in calcium and iron. Other bugs are good for you too, says biologist David George Gordon, author of the Eat a Bug Cookbook. I tell kids, if your bones are still growing, eat more crickets and termites. Still wouldn't pick the grasshoppers? Gordon says they also taste delicious, a lot like green peppers. A matter of taste. In North America and Europe, the idea of eating bugs is downright disgusting to most people. But even though we don't think of crickets and termites as food, lots of things we do eat are bug-related. Honey is made by bees. Shrimp, crayfish, crabs, and lobsters are all arthropods, which is what scientists call the bug group of animals. In fact, lobsters have only recently made the transition from bug to edible treat. The first American colonists ate lobsters only when they didn't have anything else. In Massachusetts, servants who were tired of getting the cockroaches of the sea for dinner wrote into their contracts that they'd eat lobster only three times a week. They may look scary, but these fried scorpion kebabs are a popular snack in China. Other parts of the world also have forbidden foods. 
Lots of people would never eat lobsters and the other sea-dwelling bugs we consider delicacies. Many people don't eat pork. Even among people who eat insects, tastes differ. South Africans might munch termites for lunch, but they'd never eat scorpions, which are raised for food in China. In Bali, Indonesia, dragonflies are a treat, but in the Indonesian province of Irian Jaya, no one would think of eating a dragonfly. Cicadas are on the menu instead. So when it comes to eating, people mostly stick with food they're used to. What's food and what's not is a matter of taste and what you've been taught. Forbidden. If something is forbidden, it is not allowed or accepted. Future food. Could our tastes change? Could school lunches ever include grasshopper kebabs and caterpillar fritters? Attitudes about bugs are already changing. Thanks to bug appreciation programs at schools and science centers, kids today are less squeamish about insects. If we can get over the gross factor, bugs could one day become part of our daily diet. Bugs are even considered a perfect food for long space journeys because astronauts could breed them in outer space. Still wondering who on Earth would want to eat a bug? Better to ask, who wouldn't? Attitudes. Your attitudes are the ways you think and feel about something. This fried insect burger may look unusual, but it's a popular meal in some countries.